hi guys you guys are welcome back it's tana media with big brother niger update so everybody it'd be like say this relationship cheeses with they don't they, don't, they won't blow the guy cover like this so share exercising doing and cheesy very opposite people vera are you sure cheesy is not a fake housemate shakes you're asking are you sure i'm i'm sure die he's a fake housemate in his tiny voice cheesy well no be fake housemate shall ride and fake housemate means the same thing for them inside there so deji on him and chichi deji's media round deji lie on us where your mocha foam i asked biggie for an extra week because of chichi i wasn't leading her on she was a blessing nothing happened under the sheet <laughs> Mm, it was just intense we didn't go all the way but i know people won't believe me people won't believe and it doesn't even matter oh she we see i'm show sure mass day for you so apparently this guy loves chichi because he said he asked big brother for an extra week because of chichi oh and in that extra week he still winning things so chichi was like a blessing to him so maybe because he knew he was going to he was supposed to stay only four weeks Probably that's why he was acting up and the part nothing happened under the sheet. Oh guy, your butters, your bots there outside though, the internet. We see him. Even toilets with t-shirts with the wear your boxers. Show him, show him. So calm down. So White Money haven't really said anything about this season, but apparently he's beginning to see he's throwing his weight behind Fina. And because Tega Tega went on this their uh, show where they do interview talk about Big Brother to say that Fina is annoyingly loud. If she was on the show with her, she would ask for voluntary exit from the show. Yeah, that's what they ask. This one not just to talk. This one not capping. Then you know, and she said one thing. She said in her own set that who they was already choking her. You know that who they breathe, and you know it's white money that usually says it. It was already choking her for her to come again the way she said it she said fina is beautiful but that she's just annoyingly loud that that her she would just be shouting who day and all that that she was already tired of of that hey that's how the comment section eh a poor head a run there's nothing they know adulterous woman this one that one somebody have not been trending for there's nothing they did not tell um this girl like this they finish them but it is what it is so apparently shags just won the flutter wave tax big shags see woman behind him clapping for him so congratulations to big shags um on sunday we'll see what um the monetary attachment to this tax now flutter wave they sponsor this show so it's supposed heavy share okay so after um shega um sorry stega said what he said sorry what she said right my money came out to say if being loud is going to get you to where you're going to no mind them you just continue being loud you get and of course he was referring answering what um tega said then again he said that he didn't even know who did they paint some people now white money didn't tag um tega didn't call tega but we know is in response of that interview that was trending so he says so who they been they paint them that year and on a no talk if being loud will get you to where you're going be the loudest let no one hold you back or try to shape your life to suit this <clears throat> shares um tega came out to do a video said white money that you can't comprehend that what is he saying that he should call her name with his full chairs that white money, I know you're talking to me. From there, after insulting white money in the beginning, she come turn her to you. Uh, white money, I didn't say, um, I didn't say who did they pay me. You know, they pay me. Um, call my name. White money, you know, when you white money, you know, you can't shade me. You know, she now turned the boy. First of all, the first part of the video says it all. So I'm not a chumsy fan, but she's allowed to feel however she wants to feel. The energy the housemate gave her after she won was so so low, especially the ladies. She is human, cut her some slack. After she won the mini me tax, that's when she was telling her decoy she feels that there's a gang up against her because she's winning a lot. Then someone says our ah, Khalid was competitive, but they made him leave. Pack your bags there, we will talk about the competitive part of you later well 
I've learned not to. I didn't believe Diana would go. When we we're saying lists of people that will leave, who called Diana on Sunday? When all of them were up like this, who called Moncherry? So, if Moncherry left like that, I'll be Moncherry. Which one? Moncherry. Moncherry. Which which one is it? It's a French word. If she left like that, I bet people didn't see anything happen. Chums, if you see, when I feel see chums in the house on Monday. Groovy is everything about you. This thing was a group tag. Stop blaming people. If you lose, you lose as a team. Groovy is wise. Now that in wisdom, they cause trouble now. Mm-hmm. Because this was after the mid the tax finna them finna them lost yesterday. And that's where the quanta started. And he's still settling it. So his wisdom is still trying to drag in his his trousers. All these people saying Chamsi will leave. Hmm, sorry, I feel your pain. Biggie can never evict three real housemates on Sunday, not when he has not declared king size eviction. And if it wants to go, then it's a low swag. If it's two, then it should be doing an a low swag. Chomzy can leave. And now, if Cheesy's friends vote Chomzy, vote, uh, sorry, doing. Now, if you say Chums are in love interest will leave because look at the lineup. Unfortunately, Chums and Eloswag are up. If they were separate, then the two fan base will vote for one. But now they are up, it makes it difficult. Shex and Bella fans already got Shex, Bella. Um, Fina is a whole squad on its own. Brian is a different kind of squad on their own. Then now Eloswag and Chums will not be everybody face your guy. So, hmm, I don't know. So, meanwhile, Hello, Swag's mom is very hot, Sha. Ah, see the woman, you know, go believe her. Oh. She came out to campaign for votes for the son, said you could should forgive him if he has wronged anybody, saying a big brother, you're bound to step on people's toes. So, okay, guys, listen to her and hear what she said. Hello, everyone. My name is Ono Chupe Fatu. I'm Hello, Swag's mom. I would like to say thank you to the fans for the love and support you all have shown my son, Hello, Swag. I appreciate every single effort the fans have put into keeping Elo Swag in the Big Brother Nigeria house. Thank you guys. There is this narrative about Elo Swag. We all know being in the Big Brother Nigeria house is not easy. It's bound to step on people's toes. Please kindly forgive him if he's done anything to offend anyone. Guys, please forgive him and vote, 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 vote for Elo Swag. Congratulations. Let's all come out and vote for Elo Swag. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Please come out. Let's vote. Let's vote. Keep voting. Keep voting for Elo Swag. Thank you guys. I'm grateful. Some people are rude, Sha. After this woman finished begging people to vote for the son, someone just said in comment section, We do respect, ma. Your son is coming home. Hey, God, people, yeah, parents are becoming both these days. Everybody is involving in Big Brother Niger because they are seeing the thing has changed a lot of people's life. Charms, he doesn't deserve to leave Sunday, yene, yene. What is Khalid doing at home? I beg. Oh, no. Well, Khalid's own, I don't know. He hadn't built that much fans before then. I mean, what should I say? What happened to him? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Love you guys.